Hello, reformers, and welcome back to A Clash of Kings 3.0. Now, this is, of course, a return to the mod that we all know and love, and it is going to be a little bit of a challenge series, kind of a challenge series. Not really a very hardcore one, but it is one that I'm going to try and adhere to. But, yeah, anyway. In the first episode, we advanced two levels, and we are now at Old Town, and we're going to be attacking a couple of looters in just a second. But for now, I think it might be a nice idea to level up our strength a little bit and get a little bit more in charisma. Now, the reason why I'm leveling up charisma is hopefully so that I can actually get a really high prisoner management skill so that we can start taking prisoners when we gain Stormland's Hammermen. But I have a bad feeling that Stormland's Hammermen have been removed from this version of A Clash of Kings. I did not read the change log, so that is bad on me. That is very bad on me. But it's kind of nice to find it out anyway, just by doing your own thing and actually finding out for yourself. So let's get some more in Power Strike and everything. And I'm going to be leveling up our pole arms a little bit more as well because... If you haven't watched the first episode, we want to be a polearm user in this particular series. And I did just take a look at a very nice polearm in Old Town. Hopefully we'll be able to use that in due time. But for now, let's do some damage against these looters. And they have 21, so they do outnumber us slightly. And I am very injured. Okay, so our units are going to go in against the looters. And the looters are actually standing in the river at the moment, which is kind of... Oh no... Which is kind of good for us, because that means they move a little bit slower, and it means that they take a little bit longer to get to our forces. I'm going to try and do a couple of hit-and-run attacks. I don't really want to die again, so I'm going to try just to hang around on the outskirts, as it were, and hopefully not get killed in the process. Obviously, this guy might actually take us out. Well, they they both might take us out, because they have spears and all kinds of other pole arms. Oh, there we go. I finally got a kill. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Because usually... I don't really get kills early on, which is kind of annoying. That's exactly the reason why the initial starter quests are really, really nice for me to take, because they give me experience for not really doing much, and my own units can level up along the way. But there it is, there's level 4. Very nice. And there we have a victory. Very good. Okay, so, 4 Renown. An 8 morale is our reward for that. And we get a very nice leather cap. And we also get a spear. Unfortunately, this is the kind of thing that I don't want to use. Because this is very likely to break. So, yes. Unfortunately, I will be using it just, you know, just as a sort of a stopgap. Just to level up our polearm proficiency a little bit. But for the most part, I'm not going to be using a spear. And there we go. Okay, so we'll continue on from here. Now, I am going to go back into Old Town just to sell a couple of things, just to see maybe I might be able to make enough money. It's highly unlikely, but... Oh! Oh, wait a second! Do you see this? Okay, so it seems as though the mod creator has put in an additional dynamic to the various armor pieces that you can use in the game and that is that there's a penalty for archers so if you're an archer and you want to use heavy armor nope that's not going to happen anymore as you can see power draw and power throw are being reduced so if you want to be an archer you're going to have to use lighter armor that's actually a really nice change i like that obviously i don't actually play an archer very often so it won't really affect me that much but it's kind of nice to see a little bit of a little bit more dynamic gameplay there. But anyway, let's go for the weapon merchant as well. This is the balanced glaive that I was talking about. It's really nice. 2600 though. Very expensive. I might not be able to afford it for a very, very long time, but I'm going to try my best. So let's try and sell that. Ah, okay. So can I, can I get a shield? I can get a shield for 540. That's very expensive. Oh, okay. Is there anything else here that I can get? I might be able to use a balanced staff. Balanced Staff might actually be better than my Scythe, so I think I'm going to just take that instead. There we go. Okay, so should I head into the tavern? I think we took a look in the tavern last time. Yes, we did. Never mind. Okay, so what I would like to do is go into the arena, because the other challenge that I set myself was to create our own faction before 200 in-game days have passed. And I don't know whether I'll be able to do it, but I thought it might be a fun little sort of 
soft rule or something along those lines and we're gonna see if maybe we can do something about that so yeah okay now this is obviously not really gonna work very well because I am very low in HP but I'm doing this just so that we can gain access to the ability to ask him about tournaments I know you can ask for tournaments anyway and you don't actually have to fight but I thought it might be kind of fun to maybe try this out a little bit because it's been a while since I've actually done something like this and as you can see spears pole arms very damaging indeed I like it there we go very nice maybe I'll be able to okay I'm gonna set a little bit of a goal here for me I'm gonna try and kill five okay I'm gonna try and kill five because you know me I'm not very good at actual combat <laughs> as you can see yeah that was me just talking a bit too much there. Okay, so there's the Tournament Master. We gained five coins, but now I can ask about the tournaments. Okay, so where are the nearest tournaments? Ashford. Ashford is the nearest tournament as far as I'm aware. Sunspear as well. Stony Sept might be pretty close. Okay, that seems pretty good to me. So where is it? Where is that? Ashford is over there. Sunspear is over here. Stony Sept is... I thought that was in Stormlands territory, but apparently it's not. Wow, I'm getting a little bit mixed up, I suppose. No, Stony Sept is over there. Ah, of course, of course. Okay, it's mainly because in the previous series, the Stormlands had control of Stony Sept for most of the time. So I was like, oh yes, it's it's a yellow name, isn't it? It's yellow, and I must recognize it as such. But no, no, that was quite incorrect. Okay, so that's a castle, not a town. I was hoping maybe I could take a look in the tavern there for a potential companion but no all right so we can actually join the melee right now but i am still quite damaged oh hello there ah oh, cool i would love to take you ah oh, okay double what i've ever been paid seems a fair request Twenty-five thousand coins i would love to be able to recruit you but unfortunately i will not be able to at this juncture so we're going to just have to restore our hp a little bit and then hopefully i'll be able to go into the tournament all right so yes unfortunately i was not in time to restore my hp to be able to join the tournament in ashford so instead i have come to sunspear so let's see whether I'm actually able to do something here. So four teams with four fighters each. If they give me a pole arm, I should be okay. Yes, I... Wait a minute, I'm actually using my own weapons, aren't I? Yeah, I, I forgot that about Clash of Kings. You actually do get to use your own weapons, which is actually kind of nice, because that means that I can do some pretty decent damage. My spear broke. <laughs> of course it did. Of course. Oh, well, there you go. It seems like we're actually doing pretty well with our fellows so far but I am really worried about having terrible terrible weapons which of course I do so yeah this is probably not going to work out too well but yeah as I say I did forget about that so that's not very good so yeah upon leaving Sunspear I did manage to find this guy he's an outlaw leader and hopefully we can actually kill him. Now, do bear in mind that these guys have horses, and I am going to try my very best to use my spear in an advantageous way. Because as we know, I'm not very good with spears, but I'm going to try and get a little bit better here, because it's probably the only weapon archetype that I have scarcely used. And I think it might be kind of fun to actually learn something a little bit newer here. So I'm going to try my very best to stab this guy stab him ah, I did stab him but my spear broke so that's yeah that's it's not very good but at least I actually did attack him reasonably well kill him come on I want to take some prisoners please yes there we go we actually did get one of them that's rather nice come on kill him kill him yes I'm doing very very little damage but at least oh we we did actually level up very nice and maybe I'll be able to stop some of these guys if they charge at us with a nice thrusting attack from our staff here. Oh, that was a little bit of a missed time there, but it's okay because we took him off his horse and we're knocking a bunch of them unconscious. So that means if we find a ransom broker, it's going to be very lucrative for us indeed. And I'm very happy about that. So maybe we'll be able to get a little bit of profit here. Oh, yeah, even more. Wow, that's really nice. Okay. And it seems as though there's only one left, and we only lost one. 
We only lost one unit? I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Okay. Well, let's see if I can get this guy. Come on, guys. Oh, where is he going? Come back here. You can't run forever. And there we go. Yes, you can't run forever, especially from Elias. Lord Stumble moment, yes. Anyway, 7 Renown, 13 Morale. We did need a little bit of the morale there, and we gained 4 prisoners. Very much needed prisoners there, and... Ah, actually, a little... Oh, no, it's kind of not better than what we currently have, unfortunately. But it's fine for us to sell. And we have advanced to level 6, and we have three attribute points to spend. So I'm going to be going for nine in charisma and three and three in leadership and prisoner management. And we're going to go for a little bit more in agility here and maybe level up a, a couple of our crossbows, maybe throwing weapons. Are we going to just make this a complete rare weapon playthrough? Because if I'm going to be using throwing weapons, then this is going to be unheard of. I'm actually terrible with everything. So, oh well. Never mind. Okay, I guess we're going to try it out. And let's go in here, sell a couple of things. There we are. That's nice. And should I buy some bread? Should I buy some bread? I, I, I don't know. I don't think I really need anything, so that's fine. Should we go into the tavern? Let's just take a look around, see if there are any companions here. There's a castle guard and a belligerent drunk. Do you have any idea who I am? Oh, no, you don't, apparently. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh no, my spear broke! Ah, well, we did some nice damage to him in the first place anyway, so let's see if I can just get a nice stab. Or not. Really? He took that long to die? Wow, okay. Well, anyway, let's go back into the tavern without the drunk's body in there, thank you very much. And, let's see, Dornish Levy... Ah, there's a ransom broker! Did you see that? Yes, there he is. Hello there. Okay, so now you can buy my prisoners 528 for four prisoners. That's exactly the reason why prisoner management is extremely lucrative. If only I had the Hammermen already. So let's take a look and see if I can level some of these guys up. I'm going to just go for 12 of those guys. And they only go into elites still. I can't level them up just yet. Ah, that's, that's quite frustrating when you can't level up your units when you so badly want them to, isn't it? Ah. Okay, well, let's see if we can find a couple more bandits. It seems like we've found our next target. I am now in Westerland's faction territory, and as you can see, we have some broken men right in front of us here. So, let's do it. I... Um, yes, you'll regret ever leaving your party, thank you very much. There's only 16 of them, but they are Stormlander man-at-arms, and there are 16 of them. So, this is maybe going to be pretty difficult actually maybe I shouldn't have taken this on but well it's a challenge if anything it is a challenge and we're gonna see if we can take them down well we did some nice damage already 41 damage to one of them and thankfully they don't seem to have any ranged weapons so this might actually turn out a little bit easier than I anticipated but the problem with them is that they do have spears and spears are obviously going to make things quite difficult for us considering I'm on a horse but let's just see if I'm able to do anything here oh yes nice 29 damage there okay come on now oh another nice 26 wow what's going on here I'm actually really surprised okay oh there we go there we go. That's exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> I didn't want that to happen, but it happened anyway. So, yes. Actually kind of surprised my spear didn't break. But, okay. It's absolutely fine. Whoa, yeah. Okay. My spear broke, but I slew him like the dog he, he was, or scoundrel, or fiend, whatever you want to say. But, anyway, there it is. Actually, not that bad. I'm actually doing okay with the pole arm, amazingly enough. I mean, not amazing, but it's going okay. It's going fine. So let's take those boots and the gloves as well. There we are. Very nice. So I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to end this episode off here. And next time I'm probably going to try and... Ah, let's see. Yes, there we go. They still go into Hammermen. Fantastic. Okay, so at least now, well, now we know that they do go into Hammermen, and I'll be able to maybe, maybe purchase that glaive that I really, really want for 2600. Going to fight a couple of bandits off screen, see if I can actually do that, and then maybe we'll commence leveling up even more of our forces here. What I'm going to try and do as well off screen is just try and recruit 
a abs an absolutely full party, and then I'm going to try and go into the North Territories, maybe after doing some of the quests, but that's my plan right now. We're going to do some of the quests on screen, of course, if you haven't seen some of them, and then we'll probably head into the North and try and take on some Wildlings. That sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.